hello everybody welcome back to my channel like i said you never know what you're gonna get so we will continue the series this is the last big one um i have some smaller ones maybe i'll share those ones too but for now um we'll just go with this one and this one is part seven so this here is a dollar store sketchbook covered with paper on the inside and material on the outside. Coil binders, you either love them or you hate them. And I'm in between. So let's get this rodeo started, would ya? So some more inks, um, these are cutouts and I hit embossed and this here, so when you emboss, the embossing um, fluid like this here's some of the stuff that um, I'll use. So you emboss this and you have a stamp ready to go with this stuff on it and you heat this up. Um, this might be a Ranger product, I'd have to check, but it's like metal, and I just adore how it looks. So then you um, put this stuff on your stamp, and then you push it into your stamp while it's hot, and pull it out and it doesn't stick, and you actually get the, I forget, even forget what the technique is called. Like I said, I just do my own shit. Learn my own way. Um, and that's what you get. So there um different quotes and stuff i would uh write in that's just a magazine some more background this is layered upon like there's so many different layers on this and i just absolutely love it so i didn't want to put um am i still in anything on it because i just love the way that it was maybe i'll tilt you this way a little bit how's that i'll move you back There we go. And to carry on. So a tag. Oh, there's I got a tag collection too. Uh, maybe I'll show you guys that. We'll see. Um, this is uh, just random pieces of shit glued down with a coating over top. This was a new stencil and I thought when I bought it, I'm like, oh my God, I love it. And then I just didn't end up using it. That's all. And yeah, I don't know. I just stopped maybe on some single sheets, but definitely don't think it's in any of my other books. Um, this is a paper bag glued. I put little notes and stuff in here. And as you can tell, this one, um, I really like to write different things in it. Um, as you can tell, when I first started journaling, I was not a writer at all. I just wanted to glue stuff down. And as I developed, um, I actually enjoy writing things down. Um, this was a fun page some random shit on there so this piece here is actually from a jelly plate this is the circle jelly plate that i was telling you about that my girlfriend tracy got me and this was the same year that i found out that um i was going to have identical twin grandsons and that would represent them yeah they're fun I get stories about them too. Um, yeah, background. This one was a lot of numbers, stuff over top. And um, so this is just gesso over top. And if you whitewash it, meaning just mix it with a little bit of water, um, then you can, when you write over top, you'll actually see your background through. It'll be transparent. Um, some jewels, little envelope. There's a little note in there. Um, this one here was um, 
I'd say kind of cool. So this itself is a magazine page. And what I did was I had this stencil and I'm like, I wonder what would happen if I put this paper down, put my stencil on top and had a sponge and just kept rubbing in where those spots, if they would all pop up and they actually did. Mind you, this background, it kind of looks like, you know, she's sporting some extra hair and shit there, but what else? It worked, so I was happy with that. Um, some more magazine cutouts. Um, some more stamping backgrounds. Like, this was like inks and water and sprays. Um, and it was just, it's just so fun to do. This page here um, was inspired. I don't know if you remember when you were a kid, but you would color a page with crayons and then paint it black and then take a sharp object, um, like a scraper, and you can actually dig in and um, write whatever it is that you want to write or draw and you would have your background pop through. That's what this is. So cool. Totally felt like a kid again. I remember doing it when I was in junior, or not junior high, in elementary school. So fun. These are trees that were inspired by Tracy for a long time. Um, if you look at some of her paintings, um, she loved to do trees. She taught me a lot when it had to do with trees, for sure. Um, just more, this is embossing that didn't turn out, so instead of throwing these pieces out, um, I just throw them in here and call her a day. This tree here, um, so when you start a background like this, now this is from Tracy, you squirt all your paint on and then you just kind of weave it back and forth and you mix, um, you bring this up into this, then a little bit of this up into this and so on and so on. I like this page because there's an eye in it, so this one's like, I'm watching you. And that page doesn't need anything else. Um, another Halloween page that's like just full of shit. Like there's no, there's nothing. In place or I don't even know what word you want to use for it, but that's definitely not there. Um, this was a scrap from a scrapbook page and then I just made a little tag and pop that in there. This here is one of my fave stencils and I actually have another book. I started a black um, paged book and you use white and different colors and it makes the black just pop like it looks absolutely amazing. Um, this here actually is um, a glue stencil that so I took my glue stick and made these trees out of it. I'm pretty sure I still have them. And then you just lay them down and spray over top of them. Like what a cheap way to make a stencil. Or anything that you cut out too. Anything can be turned into a stencil really. Um, another background. There was another one like this in a earlier book. Um, I just like the way that this looks. And these are flowers. So any scrapbook paper or papers I have left over, I've got a punch. Um, and my two favorite ones are a heart and this flower. And I just punch out a whole bunch of them and put them into a container and then just kind of grab from them when I want to, when I need them or whatever. Um, the Love Shack always reminds me of that song. The Love Shack. You know which song I'm talking about. Maybe, maybe not. I'm a horrible singer. You don't want to listen to me sing. Um, circles. Um, this is napkin. These are just images I had printed off. These are stickers from the dollar store. And the dollar store has great stickers. 
Um, but what I would recommend is um, just add some glue to the back if you want to make sure that they stay and they're not going to go nowhere. This here was just a... Uh, dun, 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 dun. What am I thinking? A stencil. So I made a paper stencil out of this. This here is a stamp that I have. So you got your positive and your negative. So you pull away your positive, you stamp your negative. And um, by having that in here, that's how you get perfect lines. It turned out okay. I'm totally off screen again. So, um, this is a page that hits home. Maybe we'll discuss it at a later time, but this is a big reason um, as to why my art journaling has been very, very much healing to me. Um, so there's a long story in behind this, and we'll see about telling that story. So this here, um, I thought was pretty cool. I had seen it on, I want to say Pinterest, but it very well could be just anywhere on the internet, really. And it's a silhouette, and then you just kind of take a paintbrush, and you just, like, pounce all your colors. I think it turned out pretty good. You can see my lines were sketched. <laughs> but I don't think you can see them on camera, but I can see them. Um, just another one. This has gel medium on it, and it's clear. I don't know if you can see that. And then um, this, I really like. This is one of my first doodles, like this here kind of thing. I really like how it turned out. And the last page, which I'm sure you can tell was a shit show for me. <laughs> um, so anyway, thank you for joining me. And um, part seven, there may be a part eight, or I might even start a whole new series. And not only that, but I also think, too, that there are um, some things that I want to just to do. I love to piss around with stuff. I love to cut stuff up, glue stuff, glue stuff to myself as well. I mean, it's a shit show, but it's a fun shit show. So if you're in, um, if you subscribe, you'll probably get notified. I think that's how it works. I don't even know. Um, and we'll just go from there. I'll just turn on my camera and record. So thanks for watching this incredibly long video again. And, um, we'll see you soon. Bye guys. Peace out.